Father, we begin this sharing of your word. Yes, in the person of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, guide the words that comes out of my mouth. Glorify, glorify, glorify the Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit. Bring honor to the Father. In the name of Jesus, representing all that He is, I am the Yahweh, the Covenant God, our Savior, our Lord Jesus, the one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come, past, present, and future. Jesus Christ, lift He who lives outside of time. Amen. Yes, today we will be talking about Mark chapter 5. Okay? Mark chapter 5, we are going to look at the theme of the chapter. Okay, theme of the chapter. Just change this first couple of the Kalidi. Grand Dickerson, the Bogos, Kapo KBBC, the Haya. Okay, Kaba has so good to boil it, the beer was the Bahala, the Bakashi, or the Bogos, both the Balalay and the Hay. So, there was a woman, okay, who had a flow of blood, who had a flow of blood for 12 years okay this is mark chapter 5 verse 25 okay we look at the verse before this the mentioning of this woman the mention of this woman who had the issue of blood okay the issue of blood for 12 years so in verse 24 jesus went with him and a great crowd kept following him and pressed him from all sides so as almost to suffocate him. You see, so the people were thronging unto Jesus. And this is a situation whereby Jesus was being surrounded by people. And they were all pressing and cornered Jesus. You know, so like, I mean, it's... It's a situation whereby a lot of people were pressing upon him and, and caving in on him. A crowd. You know, the word of God says almost to suffocate him. Hard of breathing. And then this comes this woman with an issue. Uh, and came this woman with the issue of the blood for 12, um, for 12 years. So this is the background here. How the woman came to Jesus, how the woman approached Jesus, under what kind of a circumstances. It was a circumstances of a, of a lot of people all over, all over the place. And the woman had to squeeze in and squeeze through and press herself out, you know, to, uh, uh, to find Jesus. To reach Jesus and then to touch Jesus. Okay, we continue reading. This woman had endured much suffering under the hands of many physicians. So the word of God is very clear. Natural healing, natural doctors, human doctors, the physical, the doctors who treat the physical diseases. You know, those who specializes in the natural, in the uh, 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 human, in the physical, you know, these doctors, these professionals, you know, that she spent so much of money paying, they couldn't do anything for her. Okay, so this is not uh, just a, a physical or a natural problem. It is also a spiritual problem. So whatever Jesus dealt with, 
you know it's just not simply natural it's not just it's not naturally uh, physical you know it's not natural it's not physical and because it is not natural not physical it is spiritual so whatever that is spiritual is supernatural whatever that is natural and physical and human is considered you know normal the occurrence you no know, normal kind of thing it's normal so Jesus dealt with the problem okay and this lady had grew much worse you see so when you look at a problem using physical senses from the physical point of view it doesn't solve your problem you know it will get worse unless the spiritual is dealt with so nothing is further from the truth and there is something spiritual something invisible concerning a physical or a the human or you know the natural that you see so this woman had a a disease she had blood flowing out of her coming out of her for 12 years non-stop you'll be blind to say that she doesn't have a problem but you are really 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 you know unwise to say that it's just physical if the, if it is just physical the doctors could I mean should have solved her problem and the fact that natural doctors physical the doctors who are who are specializing in the physical the natural and the human couldn't solve a problem it has something spiritual it's not just a physical thing it's not just physical all right what jesus said she had heard the reports concerning jesus the scripture record you know the scripture records uh, recorded rather and it appears here in verse 27 chapter 5 mark chapter 5 she had heard the reports not just one report numerous report she has heard um, numerous many reports of Jesus as she came up behind him and in the throng and um, touched his garment now her whatever that she did was the act all right we were interrupted with the phone all right we continue so the act that she did she pressed through the crowd you know she pressed out of the crowd she got herself pressed out of the crowd uh, and she went to touch Jesus and she touched his garment the hem of his garment you know this is a woman with an unclean uh, disease an unclean disease and she went to touch Jesus you know she came out in the public and she squeezed through the throng of the people that were pressing each other went against the custom of the day the law you know she's unclean she literally 
you know, brushed against all the people and、uh, touched Jesus, you know, the holy Jesus. So the act that she did, you can say it's an act of faith. And the result of the, I mean,、um, the origin of that faith that she has、um, comes from the reports that she heard. She didn't just hear a single report, but she heard reports. You know, the Bible didn't say,、uh, I mean, the, the Bible didn't mention how many、uh, reports. She heard and、uh, what kind of reports, you know, what are these, you know? But it is very definite. She didn't hear one time. She heard a number of reports about Jesus. And the quality of these,、uh, of these reports, Of such nature, you know, of what, of such quality, and、eh? the quality of the, the, the things that she heard concerning Jesus、um, from these reports、uh, had to be so, so encouraging, has to be so、uh, life changing, you know, that have caused her to,、uh, to win against all odds, I mean, to go against all odds. You know, to, to go against the custom of the day and press through. She wasn't allowed to come into contact with,、uh, with any public, you know, because her disease is unholy. She would defile whoever、uh, she touches. But here you have this woman pressing all through the crowd, probably crawling or squeezing through wherever she could in the midst of this, this,、uh, this crowd here. But it's against everything she knew about the law. You know, and what audacity! You know, she touched Jesus, who was considered, you know, the physical Jesus, who was considered a holy man. No holy man would allow her to touch her, to touch him, you know. No holy man would want this kind of、uh, invitation. You know, they wouldn't want this lady to be near them, they wouldn't want to. Less alone, the lady touched for the lady to touch them, you know, it's, it's、uh, yeah, unacceptable. So she was a social outcast, but she heard the reports, and therefore she came out into the public and she touched the garment of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was actually、uh, the prayer shawl. And she said, she kept saying, she kept confessing. Now, at first, she heard reports, not just one, one report, you know, more than one report, numerous reports. Then now, she tapped. The, the, the prayer shawl of our Lord Jesus. She didn't, she, 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 she didn't just touch the prayer shawl. She was touching and squeezing her body, was touching、uh, all the people that she, she shouldn't have touched. You know,、uh, according to the law. But then she, what she did. She kept, she kept saying, oh,、well, she kept saying. What did she say? She kept confessing. If I only touch, if I only touch the garments, I shall be restored to health. What? Kind, what on earth?、Uh, what kind of imagination is this? What kind of、uh, you know, mindset is this? What kind of thinking in, yeah, is this? you know, That she kept confessing 
Evolve me! You're Evolve me! I touch the garments. This prayer show. This prayer show, the garment of this little of the Lord, you know? I shall be made whole. I shall be healed. She didn't care how the healing is going to take place. She just said, if I can may just touch the prayer shawl. Health shall be restored to me. Okay. And then what happened immediately? Her blood that has been you know, oozing for 12 years dried up at the source and suddenly she felt in her body that she was healed of her distressing ailment. It's not a pleasing ailment, enjoyment, enjoyable ailment or tolerable ailment. The Bible says it's this then it is a distressing ailment. See, we have to uh, name and mark, name and therefore mark the thing, you know, as it is. You know, we, we mustn't paint uh, beautiful pictures over, you know, and uh, tag it over, you know, something that is n not beautiful at all call it what it is the truth label it this is a distressing condition a physical condition that is bringing stress and abnormality abnormality to your health to your daily life, in, in fact, not just health, the whole life. Her life was abnormal. She was ostracized by the, from the society. She, well, she has to proclaim and they, she has to shout whenever she comes near uh, anybody, you know. She, she will defile the common people with her disease which is uh, believed which was believed to be unclean so so the flow of her blood dried up at the source so Jesus killed that the blood flow flow you know at the source so the thing is, she touched the prayer shawl. It didn't say she touched the body of Jesus. She touched the hem of his garment. And that hem, you know, has knots and uh, fringes. That is the prayer shawl. Jesus wore a prayer shawl. Prayer. She touched and connected. She was connected powerfully to the prayer, you know, to the ministry of the high priest. The ministry of a priest, you know, a prayer, you know, the ministry of blessing. Why? Why I say blessing in the Levitical uh, order, you know, the, 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 the high priest, you have cursing and blessing from the priest. But here, this woman was obviously seeking for a blessing. She wasn't asking for a curse, you know. She wasn't uh, thinking about what she had done or failed to do or what, you know. Uh, whether she has to qualify for the blessing. She just came to Jesus. Jesus will be the one. And Jesus is the one that guarantees, that qualifies her healing. What kind of imagination is this? This is faith. 
What kind of fave is this, you know? Fave concerning Jesus that she has learned from all the various reports. What we hear and thus entered into our hearts and in our heart conscience, what we heard into our heart conscience, our heart eye conscience, affects how we see and perceive things. She saw Jesus as, you know, the blesser. So in the Hebrew concept, in the whole concept, when we talk about the blesser, the giver of blessing, blesser, you know, this is a picture of a priest, you no, know, a priest bless. You don't go to a king, you know, to seek a blessing. You go to a priest because the priest represents you before the holy God. Priest is always representing uh, mankind to God. See, the prophet represents God to man. So the prophet don't have to understand, you know, how terrible, how suffering, you know, you know the people are, you know, how what they have gone through. Oh, he doesn't know. The prophet doesn't have to feel the pain and the suffering of the people. That's why Moses uh, wasn't made a priest, you know. She is called to be a prophet. So he don't have to... Uh, 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 suffer with the people, you know. He, he doesn't have to be chosen among the people who have went, gone through the sufferings together. Moses wasn't suffered with them. I mean, he didn't uh, suffer with the people. He went to the land of Midian for killing uh, an Egyptian. And he uh, uh, went and ran over there to hide, rather. So, it's different. So a priest bless. A priest represents human needs and human issues and wrongs and faults that he bears. The priest bears the burden uh, of the people and of a, uh, of a race and of a nation. Yes, you need a priest to do that. And Jesus, wearing a, rab- wearing a prayer shawl, you see, and Jesus pronounced a blessing on this woman. You see, further down, this Mark chapter 5, you see Jesus saying, Daughter. You see this Jesus? She felt power going out of her, and, she, and he turned around to look. For the lady, you know, he knew someone, uh, some lady had touched him. He knew someone has touched his hem, connected with his prayer. You know, somebody has connected with the priest, you know, the prayer of the priest. The prayer, the blessing ministry of the priest. You bless by being prayer, by doing prayer, you know. By kneeling before God to do prayer, you are releasing blessings. So Jesus Christ released blessings. He doesn't release curse. Why that curse? All the curses are being cancelled at the cross. He only has blessings left behind. Transferred over from the old covenant. You see, all the blessings of the Old Testament transferred over into the New Covenant. It is a wholesome New Covenant that we have. So Jesus administers these blessings by His strong cries of praying, you know, in heaven. And that's the picture of the priest interceding for his people. So this lady connected with the blessings of the person of Jesus. And this is the new covenant. She heard that this Jesus is healing. This Jesus is healing. He heals and he continues to heal. And everyone in his services, get, I mean, they got healed. They were all the night there. I mean, you, you can stay all through the night and he will. I mean, I've, when the morning comes, you are healed. 
everyone who went into his service, you know, healed, he heard, I mean, she heard such testimonies, such reports concerning Jesus. So she touched that prayer shawl, the prayer ministry, that blessing ministry of Jesus, that high priest there. And what Jesus, well, Jesus turned around and Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith, your trust, your confidence in me spring from faith in God has restored you to health. Go in peace and be continually healed and freed from your distressing bodily disease. What kind of a priest is this, you see? This is the New Testament priest. The great high priest, Jesus Christ. The, you know, this is Jesus our great high priest he speaks a blessing to his people he doesn't uh, speak curses it's not Jesus ministry to speak curses you see when you curse something you fa- I mean you have rendered restorative justice you know aside you know when you curse don't restore if you want to curse a thing, you believe that you can go under a cross. I mean, you can actually uh, be cursed and the curse is legitimate and it is a punishment and it should be this way. And if you believe that you want to receive your own punishment, accept your own fate and your own doings, the result of your own doing, you know, then there is no restoration. God wants to restore 120% of all that we have lost. If Jesus Christ was made our trespass, offering our guilt, offering for every wrong that we have done to others and for every wrong that others have done to us. Depending on how you term it, yeah, in other words, this is the truth. So the woman connected with the prayer, the blessing of the priest. And Jesus, full, full of goodness, didn't, uh, you know, cast her away and, uh, and, 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 and question her, her faith, you know. How can you touch me, you know, being an unclean woman? This kind of disease, you should have stayed, uh, you know, outside the city and, and uh, you know, the law forbids you to come into contact with the society. You know, you spread your disease all over the place. No, Jesus didn't say that. Jesus said, your... Jesus called her daughter. What a... warm address. Revelatory, revelationary, you know, address. Daughter. You know... She identified the, 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 the lady as part of the household, the common household of faith, the part of the household faith of God, of the Father. Jesus called her daughter. She's part of the family. Daughter, your faith, your right believing. You're believing whatever you have heard and whatever you have concluded, come to conclusion in your heart conscience, you know, in your rational mind, you know, this conclusion about the good Savior, about the Savior that can uh, 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 save you, the Savior that can uh, uh, do all this goodness for you. Now, she received her healing. Immediately, she received her healing. Jesus is good. So she connected with the blessing, with the intercession. Yes, today God is going to connect. The Lord is connecting people with His prayers, with His confessions, you know. The lady was confessing. She was confessing and confessing, if I may touch this garment, you know, the fringes, I will be made whole. How did she know that? How did she know that? How come she can confess this? It's like a 
out of nowhere, you know, you 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 create something new, you know, you innovate a new idea or a new concept, you know, it's like, uh, well, where did you get that idea from? How where did you, uh, how did you learn? Who imparted it to you? No, she heard about Jesus. She heard. Didn't know what she heard, but what she heard was so powerful that caused her, you know, to 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 behave, you know, to con to have this to conduct herself this way. What she did is, you know, foolishness to the world and uh, is a. Uh, Absorbed to the world, you know, it's like uh, unacceptable to the human uh, understanding. Totally unruly, you know, unsubmitted to uh, to what has been going on, you know, for centuries. You know, if you have this kind of unclean diseases, you just don't come into the presence of of God. You don't come before holy rabbis, and uh, you know you don't touch them, and you don't allow them to touch you. You see, this is the the the, the order of the day. It is the order of the day. Talking about a connection to the blessing, connection to the blessings, connection to the high priest, our great high priest Jesus. Yes, Lord. I pray in Jesus' name that you open the eyes of your people, open the eyes of um, the ones that has sought you. Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, this word here is very important. This word here, yeah, is uh, one of the keys, important uh, keys concerning the blessing, the health, and uh, approaching Jesus for healing. In fact, it's not just healing. You approach Jesus for all manner of needs in your life. But what do we believe concerning our Lord? That determines whether we are receiving from Him or not. Yes, Father, we want to receive from You, Father. Open up your yes, your wisdom to us. Father, speak to us your wisdom also. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You can see Mark chapter 5. You want to look at the context of this. You can read the first verse. It says what? They came on the other side of heaven. On the region of the Gad of Sins, as soon as he got out of the boat, there met him on the tombs, out of the tombs, you know, a man under the power of the unclean spirits. You see, the unclean spirits. What did Jesus do? She connected 
the demonic power met with you know, the demonic powers met, met with you know the blessing ministry of Jesus what did Jesus do Jesus opened his mouth and cast out the devils just as I mean, in this woman here, you know, Jesus opened his mouth and he blessed the woman. What kind of a priest? You know, what kind of priest is this? Holy Abiyasa, this is no Old Testament priest, Old Covenant priest. This is the New Covenant priest, Jesus. That high priest, not just normal priest, he's our great high priest. All lovely and all holy. This, what is he talking about here? It is connecting with His grace, chapter 5. Connecting with the winds of heaven that has been blown, that has that has been released out of the wind. The water has come out of this window here. The grace, the wind of God. Like the opening flow of our lips, our mouth gate. When uh, we open our mouth to speak and we pray, blessings we release. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Hold it for your mighty word. Holy Spirit, begin to work and begin to reseed us with the will of God. Let us see Jesus, His new covenant word, the gospel good news word, not the condemning old covenant, you know, the Ten Commandments, no, telling man to, to work out everything by his, by his own strength. No! This is the new grace. Not the new grace. This is the grace. This is the mercies. This is the loving kindness of God. No, of the Father in Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Father, cause your people to dwell in safety, in peace tonight, that they sleep well. Father, continue to minister unto us. And I say in Jesus' name, keep praying for me in tongues. So that I will be able to tap into the prophetic accurately, and so that I will minister with the sharp edge uh, sword uh, that will slash the soul and the minds. The soul and the spirit uh, slash it in Jesus' name. In all the goodness, in all the character, in all the holiness and beauty, in His name, in Jesus' name, in His character, in His nature. Thank you, Jesus, man. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, bye-bye.